welcome again to my channel English one and one presentation to be beneficial remember to like share tell a friend and subscribe okay subscribe 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 today we shall be looking at the short story blood of brothers do you have siblings or do you have problems with your siblings he and the family alleviate or mitigate sibling rivalry. Okay, Amaro. Today we are going to be exploring sibling rivalry in the short story, Blood Brothers. Of course, we will be looking at the characters, the major characters in this short story. We'll also be exploring the themes in the short story. And we are going to be looking at the narrative techniques that the writer uses in order to portray the, the sibling rivalry. The introvert is very different from his twin brother, Benji, the extrovert. And you know that introverts and extroverts are extremely different. The characters in this story are Benji and Paul. Paul is different from his 13-year-old twin brother, Benji, in the following ways. One, Paul is more reserved than Benji. He takes solace or comfort from being close to nature. Two, Paul tends to get scared easily. And as a result of this, he hated his brother, who exhibited a more courageous and carefree personality. Three, Paul is not as adventurous as Benji. Four, Paul tends to overanalyze or overthink than Benji. There are some evidence that support the differences outlined earlier. One, in quiet moments as now, alone with myself staring up at the blue pool of the sky or stretching on the hill with the wind in his ears, it was easy for him to love his brother as himself. When he arose early in the morning and walked through the true wet grass to his spot on the hill, he wished Benji would be with him. Evidence, of course, supports the point that Paul takes comfort in nature. Notice he's staring up at the blue pool of the sky so and stretching on the hill with the wind in his ears, you notice? And then walk through the drew wet grass to his spot on the hill. So it seems like Paul is is a is a nature lover, okay, good? And I guess because nature provides him with that quiet place where he can do his introspection or meditation because he's an introvert, right? That will, um, of course, cause him to be somewhat in love with nature, okay? So Paul definitely takes comfort in nature. That suggests that Paul is afraid or fearful, while Benji, of course, is courageous. He had clutched his father's hand, and his father had, it seemed, understood that he was afraid. 
and had squeezed his hand in reassurance. Only Benji, unaware and unafraid, upped and danced along the road, exploiting his newly discovered whistle and flaunting his own lack of fear, a full-blooded hatred for his blood brother. Right, and so that the lines here suggest that Paul, of course, very timid, very shy, very fearful, while Benji, of course, is is carefree and not really easily fluttered, um, faced by anything. Supports the point that Paul is easily scared while Benji is unafraid. And because Benji is brave or fearless, it has caused Paul to become somewhat jealous of him. Ben, um, Paul believes that Benji um, exhibits a superior attitude or mannerism. And because of that, Paul has developed this full-blooded hatred for his brother. Is the evidence that supports the fact that Benji is adventurous. He's more outgoing than his brother Paul. Benji, the little man so universally applauded for his daring, so consistent in his acts of heroism, climbing to the top of the tambourine tree, careless whether he fell daring to crawl under the house to search for the hen's eggs in the darkness, breaking his arm and betraying not so much as a winch when the doctor at the hospital said it. So you see where Benji is a bit daring while Paul is reserved. And of course, that has caused some amount of jealousy. rivalry can have deadly consequences as seen in this short story blood brothers some of the consequences of sibling rivalry are jealousy one sibling might be jealous of the other as in the case of paul right paul is we know is jealous of benji and that jealousy can develop or can grow into something that is even more deadly which is hatred okay good and that hatred can develop into something else where there is murderous intention right and we know that siblings sometimes even kill each other right one sibling might kill another sibling. And we have seen it even in our daily lives, okay? Where on the news, in newspapers, right? We have uh, some persons may even witness, right? Might have even witnessed an, an act that is so gruesome where one, uh, one sibling may kill the other, right? But we know that there are deadly consequences of sibling rivalry. And as a result of that, when siblings are at war are at odds with each other we know that persons have there needs to be some amount of intervention in order for it not to spiral into something that is deadly or gruesome throughout this story the writer uses the various narrative techniques to keep us engaged one such technique is the use of descriptive terms, such as adjectives. You will find that there are a lot of descriptive details. Right? They use exact nouns and verbs. Also uses adjectives and adverbs so as to get us so so as to ensure that the readers are able to visualize and see in their mind's eye what is happening. Okay, so here's an example of the use of descriptive terms. Paul hated Benji with a bitter, passionate venom, and with all his heart's fierceness, he hated and despised himself for hating him, right? And notice the descriptive terms, bitter, passionate, and then the word venom, 
right? And we know what venom means, don't we? All right. If you do, share it in the comment section. But with that bitter, passionate venom, right? That suggests that the hate was so bad, right? So poisonous, right? It would have stemmed, as said earlier, blossom into something unhealthy, unwholesome, right? Something that has murder, murderous intention attached. Okay, and with all his heart's fierceness, he hated and despised him, even despised himself for hating him, right? Well, the use of contrasting characters. So another narrative technique that the writer uses in this short story is contrasting characters. We know that Paul is very different from his brother, Benji, Paul is an introvert and Benji is an extrovert, right? And of course, it's here it says that Paul did not bother to answer. He sat brewing on his brother and his hate flooded through his body and the blood pounded in his ears. Let's go over to Mac, he suggested, undeterred and with the sunniest smile in spite of Paul's refusal. And Paul, because in the end, Benji always made him do what he wanted, subjected his will and walked along with Benji. And so in this section here, extract here, we realize that Paul is somewhat, um, of course, contemplating evil, evil thoughts about his brother, right? Good. Uh, but Benji, of course, is so unaware. And so right there, we know that Paul hates Benji. But Benji is unaware of it, right? So here we see the contrast there, not only in terms of their mannerism, but in terms of even the very action. So, you know, Paul is so, Benji is so carefree. Let's go over to Mac. He suggested undeterred by the fact that Paul refused. And then Paul also caved in to Benji's wish to go over to Mac. Okay, good, right? And so we see that even though Paul hit his brother, you know, Paul still long to socialize, interact, and all with Benji. You see how ironic it is that the use of contrasting character there cause us to be somewhat intrigued. How will ben, what will Paul do, right? How will Benji react when Paul pull some, does something offensive or, you know, right? Let's see. The writer uses the narrative techniques of figures of speech. You'll find that in the story there are various types of figures of speech used throughout the story. And here are two examples. Look at him, he said to himself, strutting like a cock. And that's a simile, okay? The wind was whispering thinly through the trees with the unearthly voice of a ghost. And that's personification. Are you, were you able to identify any figurative device? If you were, please share them in the comment section below. Opportunity to win some prizes, right? So be the first subscriber to state two other devices and cite examples of them as used in this short story, Blood Brothers, and you may just win yourself a gift voucher. Be the first. Are you ready? Do you know the answer? Well, share the response in the comment section. And of course, send your best email when you have shared the response so that you will receive your prize. Be the first subscriber to do so. Grab your world of prose now and read the short story, Blood Brothers, and see whether or not you can be the first subscriber to identify two other devices that were used in this short story. Two other devices, apart from the simile and the personification, identify two other devices and give examples of these devices and you may just be the lucky winner of that if voucher
that are explored in this short story are as follows. One, love and family relationship. Sibling rivalry. Appearance versus reality. Deception. Nature and its impact on people. Acceptance. Jealousy and its deadly impact. Childhood experiences. And of course, any other theme that your teacher would have discussed. Now, there are some that persons may have some difficulty realizing that those are themes. We say appearance versus reality. Note that Paul did not um, show Benji that he hated him. Right, so Benji didn't suspect that Paul hated him, right? And so sometimes people can appear to be um, cool and collective and, and okay with you, but in reality, they are not, okay? Right, so Benji, Paul was able to conceal, let me see, Paul was able to conceal his hatred for Benji until it reached a point of where Paul was unable to contain it, right? And so I noticed that this, this jealousy was actually brewing for some time, right? Because he felt that his brother had a superior attitude, right? And then acceptance. It was only when ben Paul saw the fear in Benji's eyes that he realized that his brother was not invincible, right? And was also fearful and but there are different things that would have caused him to be fearful, right? And that was when Paul now accepted his brother and was somewhat ashamed for what he was about to do, right? So if you have read the story, you know what Paul was about to do to his brother, right? All right. Okay, if you do, share it in the comment section. And Share as well your thoughts on the themes. Are you in agreement with these themes? Do you have a theme that is not stated here? Share it in the comment section below. Many lessons that can be learned from this short story. Some of these are, one, things are not always what they appear or seem. People can mask their true feelings or intentions. Appearance is sometimes very different from reality, as we saw in this short story, right? Second lesson is that you need to be vigilant. Even your family members may hate you. And, you, and of course, you're unaware of this. So it is important to be vigilant. Look at how persons interact with you. Look at their actions. Okay, good. Now, if Benji was somewhat vigilant of Paul, right, observant of Paul, he would have seen that coming, what happened to him coming, okay? Then jealousy can lead to hatred, which can spiral into something deadly, all right? And that is why it's important that, of course, as we introspect, that we don't become jealous of others and that jealousy don't lead us to hate people, right? And that hatred can also cause us to even hate ourselves, right? And so it is important that, of course, you know, and that jealousy or hatred can spiral now into something deadly because you realize that Benji or uh, um, Paul, sorry, not Benji, but Paul almost killed his brother as a, as a result of his hatred for his brother. Right? Good. Then number four, do not act on impulse and make assumptions. No, Paul assumed that Benji had a superior attitude and that Benji, of course, was actually flaunting his superiority. Yes, Benji might be very carefree, very bold, but that's because he's an extra extrovert that might be the reason for his actions and not necessarily an air of superiority right good there is always time to change if you are determined to change and i do believe in the latter part of this story we saw that okay though um paul had an opportunity to exact exact vengeance on his brother Benji but then of course when he saw the fear in his brother's eyes he was able to you know look step back and look at what he is about to do to his brother whom of course he loved 
right? And so it's all, there's always time to change if you are determined. And because Paul was so ashamed of his actions, you know, he walked home by himself, right? And that tells us that he was sorry for what he had or what he was about to do, right? People must learn to accept people for who they are in spite of their varying different personality or different personalities. That is also a very important lesson that we need to know, right? Can you tackle this essay question, right? Now, you know that what you will be getting for the short stories is a comparative essay. And so here is a comparative essay question with reference to the short stories, Raymond, Raymond Ron and Blood Brothers comment on the type of sibling relationship portrayed and how it had affected a major character in each story. Discuss one narrative technique used by the writer in each story, of course, to outline the differences among siblings and comment on two lessons that students may learn from these short stories. And it's marked out of 35. And so we're going to discuss how you can tackle this question and have you tackle it. Okay. All right. And please share your essays, no? Yeah, share your essays to see if you are understanding what we're discussing or what we have discussed. Introduction should have the following one an attention getter. Two, mention of the two texts that you're going to be using two short stories of course briefly mention what will be discussed in your essay right here is a sample introduction sample introduction for you sibling relationship vary from family to family Several factors may cause siblings to be supportive or hostile to each other. This is seen in the short stories, Raymond's Run and Blood Brothers. The writers of these stories, Tony K. Bambara and John Whittam, respectfully, respectively, use several narrative techniques to highlight these different sibling relationships so that the readers may learn valuable lessons from these stories, right? And so you would see that the introduction as the attention getter, okay, which is a statement of opinion. And of course, then of course, we see the reference to the two short stories, Raymond's Run and Blood Brothers. And then we gave the right, um, a synopsis of what will be discussed, okay, so the narrative techniques, and of course, the lessons that may be learned. And of course, you would, in each paragraph, of course, comment on the type of sibling relationship, in the second paragraph, then in the third or fourth paragraph, you will talk about the narrative techniques. And then, of course, you will talk about the lessons that can be learned from these stories. And you will have your conclusion. And that is your essay in a nutshell. If you wish, you can share your essay and a link to your essay. And, of course, I will provide you feedback on your essay. Are you able to now tackle this question? I believe that you're able to do so. I trust that this presentation has been somewhat beneficial to you. And remember to love your siblings. Acceptance. We must learn as a society, as a people, to accept people for who they are. We are all different. No two persons are the same. And it is when we accept people or persons for who they are, that is when we can truly be at peace with ourselves. Note well, 
that Paul had to reach that point of acceptance where he accepted his brother Benji when he realized that his brother, though very different from him, was fearful as well. So though we are all different, there are some things that are common among all of us that will cause us to be one humanity. I trust that you have learned a lot from this story, Blood Brothers. Thank you for viewing and look at our creativity. Okay, we're all different, but we have some talent. You understand? Yes, everybody on this earth as a talent and it is for us to tap into that our talent and utilize it so that we can be the best version of ourselves.